hi guys so welcome back to my channel or of course if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Brittany and I try to upload once a week um, doing beauty related videos so today I thought I would do a makeup collection I'm gonna try and make it quite quick because there's quite a lot um, this isn't to brag about how much makeup I have it's just to show you what I have in my collection um, because I am just starting out on YouTube so I thought it'd be good to see um, for you to see what products I have so that if there's any videos you want me to do and include those products you can leave a comment down below so first of all I'm going to be starting off with primers so the primers that I have I have the MUA Makeup Academy Pro Face this is the mattifying finish with vitamin E this is the banana blur primer this is a really good primer I also have the original high adherence silicone primer I've only used this a couple of times um, but it is really good I've got the Illumasca um, Hydravel Primer. This is a small one because I received this in my glossy box. Um, I've got the number seven skin illuminator. So you can use this as a highlighter or a primer. I tend to use this more as a primer because um, it leaves your skin looking really glowy and a good base to apply your, apply your foundation onto. I also have the iHeart Revolution Banana Split Primer. Again, this is a radiance primer, so it just leaves your skin looking really glowy before applying the rest of your products. And the same again with the Jekka Blank Glow Drops. Um, it is a glowy primer as well. But my favourite primer has to be the e.l.f. Um, Matte Putty Primer. This one is definitely um, the one that I use on a day-to-day -day basis um, because I have quite oily skin and this tends to keep the oils at bay. Next I'm going to be talking about uh, foundation and uh, the foundations I have um, are mainly Revolution foundations um, because they are really affordable but they are really good quality. So I have the Conceal and Glow foundation, this is in the shade F1. I also have the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. Again, this is in the shade, um, sorry, F1. Um, and I also have this in F5.7, I believe it is, for when I am slightly more tanned. I also have the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. And again, this is in F1. And the Original Conceal and Define Foundation, which again is in F1. Um, the last Revolution foundation I have is their Stick Foundation, and this is in F1 again. Um, I haven't used this a lot, so I definitely need to try it out some more. I'm not too sure how I feel about Stick Foundations. Um, I also have the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This is in the shade True Ivory. This is probably um, the best matching foundation I have. And it also dries down slightly matte, um, which is perfect for oily skin. So this is probably one of my favorites at the moment. Uh, but my all time favorite probably has to be the Ordinary Foundation. And I have this in the shade 1.2 N and it just looks so natural on the skin um, it re blends really easy um, definitely a really good foundation to have in your collection uh, the next foundation I have is Wet n Wild Focus Finish Foundation and this is in the shade Soft Beige I absolutely hate the smell of this foundation it legit smells like paint um, but it blends out really nice and it looks really nice and radiant on the skin um, so for that that's why I've kept it because the finish is really nice and the smell does wear away after a while um, lastly I have the Lacura BB um, this is just a multi cream um, with a touch of foundation so that's just for days where I really don't want to wear any makeup whatsoever and it just gives me a hint of coverage so next I'm going to be talking about concealers and I don't have a lot of concealers but the ones that I do have are really good and um, so I find that I tend to um, just use them once anyway. Um, so I have the Revolution, this is the Conceal and Fix Concealer and this is in Light Sand. This stuff is um, honestly full coverage and it's really thick. So it is quite hard to blend out, but once it is blended out, it just covers anything. It's really good. 
I also have the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and this is in C1. This is the concealer that I reach for um, on a day to day basis. Um, it's just a really good formula and I haven't really found anything that has come close to this. Um, so if there's any concealers you can recommend, um, I'd really love to try some more out. Um, I have the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer, but I have this in the shade C6. So it is slightly dark um, when I haven't got any tan on, so I don't tend to reach for this um, as much. I have the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer, and this is in Cool Ivory. Um, and this is a really good concealer, um, I just don't reach for it a lot, um, because I do tend to reach for the Conceal and Define. Lastly, I have the e.l.f. This is the Flawless Concealer. Um, I have talked about this in a previous video, um, not a fan at all, I find that it just blends out into nothing, um, which is obviously not what you want in a concealer. So next I'm going to talk about powders, um, I don't have a lot of powders purely because um, they're not really um, the most interesting thing in the makeup routine, as long as they set down my base that's all I'm worried about. Um, so I have the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Compressed Powder, um, I mainly just use this uh, for touch ups, this is the transparent one, um, I won't actually use this to fully set down my base. I also have the Revolution Pro, this is a skin finish, now sometimes I will use this all over the face um, if I want a really radiant look but also make sure I'm set down, um, or sometimes I will just use this on the high points as a highlighter, um, it just depends how I'm feeling really. I have the I Heart Revolution, this is the scented baking powder, now I don't really tend to bake, I do just tend to set the base down, um, So, but it is a really good powder for that, um, and it does kind of smell of peaches but it's not overpowering. Um, I wish I could smell it a little bit more but some people don't like um, things that are heavily fragranced. I also have the Laura Mercier powder, now this is probably um, the most expensive powder I have in my collection so therefore um, it is a little bit better than the others, um, you definitely get what you pay for, it's worth the extra pennies, um, I just don't wear it that often because I'm trying to make it last. Lastly I have my everyday um, powder, so I use this all throughout the week and sometimes at the weekends as well, it's the Revolution powder. Um, now the powder that actually comes in this packaging I didn't really get along with so I emptied it out and I've actually poured into there this powder. Um, this is probably my favourite powder and um, because the lid it's so small, it's so hard to get the product out of, so I tip it into here just so it's easier to get to. So now I'm going to be talking about bronzers. So the first thing I have is the um, Revolution and Roxy palette. Um, that's what it looks like inside. Obviously this is the shade that I use for contour. And I don't really tend to use um, the other shades in the palette. Um, I should probably try out some of the highlighters because they do look good. Um, I also have the hashtag give them la la beauty bronzer, this is in the shade Ibiza and this is what it looks like, so that one has actually got some gold flecks going through it. I've got the Benefit Hula bronzer, um, which again I've hit pan on, um, just a really nice bronzer, um, I'm pretty sure everyone's tried it, um, they all know the hype. <laughs> This is the Beauty Bay Bronzer, this is in the shade Fawn, and it looks like this. Probably a little bit too warm toned um, for my skin, um, but nevertheless I do really like it. Um, I've got the Sunset Glow Bronzer, so this is from Primark, and this is a really nice bronzer, and I believe it was like £2, um, absolute bargain. I love um, Primark. Uh, beauty products, they're really good. I have the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer, this is in the shade Bahia, I'm gonna say. Um, really like the fact that they've put a pattern um, in the bronzer, I don't know why, that just I really like that. 
Um, that's a really nice bronzer and a really nice colour too. The last bronzer I have is the Revolution Glow Bronzer. Now this is um, amazing. It smells like coconut and pineapple. Just reminds me of being on holiday. Um, and it's a massive pan as well and it is fairly cheap. Um, so that you definitely get your money's worth. The only thing I would say is this is in the shade Light. Um, and it is quite dark so you have to you know really go in carefully and also use a light hand I think it would have been good if they come out with a lighter shade so that's all the bronzers I have so next I'm going to move on to blushes now blusher isn't something that I really wear um, too often um, like I haven't got any on today um, but from time to time I do just like to pop on a bit of blush um, mainly in the winter just to give me a bit of colour so I have the um, Sleek Blush and this is in Rose Gold. So that's what that one looks like. I think it's meant to be sort of like a dupe for um, the NARS Orgasm. Um, I do really like that. I like blushes that have got sort of um, flecks of glitter going through them and that one has, it's really nice. I've got the number seven blusher in Honey. Um, so this is sort of just a sort of bronzy kind of um, blusher that one's really nice very natural um, number seven one again this is in peach velvet um, I wouldn't really say this is really a peachy blusher I'd say that's definitely more on the pink side um, but nevertheless that is a really good blusher um, I do like that one I've got the urban decay afterglow blusher in obsessed which looks like that um, this is really pigmented, so you have to go in with a really light hand, um, but that is a really nice colour. Um, it is quite like a neon, so maybe it's better for like if you're getting dressed up and things like that. Um, I've also got the blush duo from The Beauty Crop, which looks like this. I've got this in a glossy box, so I have showed this already in a video. But it looks like that, and I find if you mix them together, that just creates a really nice colour. Um, it's a really nice blusher. Um, I also have the Revolution blusher, which looks like this. This is in Peach Bliss. So I do prefer sort of the peachier tones when it comes to blush, because um, I find they're not so um, vibrant. Um, it just gives you a little hint of colour on the cheeks, which is really nice. So I've got the Beauty Blade. Beauty Bay blusher and this is in the shade Blossom. Um, they have actually got um, a blusher which is called Peachy so I'm going to purchase that one. Um, this one is really nice though because this one is one that's got the flecks of glitter going through so it just makes your skin look really radiant because um, I like a matte finish. Anything that sort of adds radiance or glowiness to the skin I do really like. Um, I've got the MUA, this is a liquid blush and this is in the shade Watermelon. Um, I do like cream blushes but you have to go in with a really light hand otherwise it can just look too um, overpowering. Which is what I like about this blush um, because this is sort of like a balm, it's not a cream. Um, and I just take this on a beauty blender and just blend it into the foundation and that gives you a really nice natural colour to your cheeks. That's definitely um, my favourite cream blush that I have. So that's all the blushes I have. So next I'm going to move on to highlight. So I'm going to talk about my highlight palettes and then go on to talk about my single um, highlights that I have. So I have the Urban Decay Afterglow um, Highlighter Palette. And you'll see that I have completely used this shade. That was Bliss. Um, that was the one that matched me the most. Um, but I can also get away with this one and this pink one here, but this one is just a bit too dark for my skin. Um, so yeah, definitely got um, my money's worth out of that one. I have the Revolution Soap Highlight Palette, which I believe I spoke about in my last video, maybe not last video, maybe the one before. Um, and this is the one I tend to reach for, as you can see I've hit pan. But I have tried a couple of the others and they are just as good. Um, now this, I have to say, is probably my favourite highlighter palette. This is from Primark and it's called Glow Getter. This is what it looks like. So I tend to stick to these two shades here. Um, this one, obviously, for when I'm a bit more tanned. This one, for when I'm not so tanned. 
obviously the others are quite a bit darker but that's what I really like that I know that this is going to cater to all skin tones um, and not just fairer skin tones and I believe they do have another one as well which I think goes even darker which is good um, now for single blush I have the Beauty Bay highlighter and this is in the shade Flash and this is actually the one I've got on at the moment um, you can't really see it the camera kind of there we go that's a bit better just a really really nice um, highlighter I really do like that one then I've got a couple of MUA ones so this one here is iridescent gold I've also got pearlescent sheen which is really nice it's got sort of flecks of like blue and pink going through it um, and this one here which is peach diamond um, so yeah, I definitely get a, a lot of use out of um, all of those because I tend to wear sort of like a different highlighter um, every weekend because I don't wear highlighter to work. Um, so yeah, I just try and switch up my makeup routine, um, make sure I'm using sort of all my products rather than just sticking to the same ones all of the time. So next I'm going to talk about eyeshadow palettes. Um, but to start with, obviously before you apply eyeshadow, you have to put um, eyeshadow primer. Um, so I only have um, three. I have the Revolution Prime and Lock. Um, I have spoke about this in a previous video. Um, it doesn't have any colour payoff, so it doesn't sort of blank out um, your eyelid, which is what I like. So I tend to just use this when I'm doing a really natural look um, because it just it goes really tacky. So it's good for getting pigment out of um, eyeshadows that are maybe not so pigmented. Um, but when I'm doing sort of more colourful, dramatic looks and I really want that colour to stand out, um, I go to obviously the P. Louise base. This is amazing. We all know and love her. I don't know where we would be without her. When I first got this, I wasn't too keen, um, but then when I started using it more and more, I found that it's just a really amazing eye base, um, and you can use it for other things as well. It's sort of like a multi-purpose product, which is really good. I also have the Urban Decay Eye Primer. This is in the shade Eden. So again, this has color to it and does sort of blank out that area, which is really good. Um, so I'm going to talk about a couple of single eyeshadows that I have actually and then I'll go on to talk about my eyeshadow palettes. Um, so these are sort of like glitters um, mainly. So I have this one here. This is, um, I believe it's like a moon dust or something they call them. It doesn't actually say. But this is in the shade Solostis I think it's called. Um, and it's just a real nice um, glittery eyeshadow and it's like green and blue and pink um, so it shines different colours in different lights which is what I really like um, I have two of the NYX glitters uh, one of them is in glitter 07 and one in glitter 06 I believe they do actually have names oh yeah so this one is ice and this one is crystal and um, obviously I had to go ahead and get the NYX glitter primer just to make sure they stick down and I also have a glitter liner from Urban Decay which is in the shade Glam Rock so I know that's not really an eyeshadow but I keep it in the same drawer so now let's go ahead and talk about um, my actual eyeshadow palettes so firstly I have the LA Splash eyeshadow palette which looks like this and I actually got this in my last glossy box I have tried it out and I have to say I do really really like this um, just as a neutral palette everyday palette um, it is definitely great and you've got a good mixture of mattes and shimmers I have the Revolution Roxy eyeshadow palette this is the ride or die palette and I believe I have done a video on this on my channel. I've used it a couple of times. It's just really nice, neutral shade. Um, not too sure what that pop of green is there. Um, I probably won't use that at all. Um, but other than that, it's a really good palette. I think they should probably have popped that colour into this palette here. This is the Colour Burst palette. So I have the full collection of the Roxy 
ones from Revolution. And yeah, this is definitely obviously a lot more colourful and I think that green probably would have gone better in here. Uh, but nevertheless, they are both really good eyeshadow palettes, definitely pigmented. And I think for one of them, I paid something stupid like £6 in the sale, which is just a bargain. Um, I also have the Morphe James Charles palette. Now this is the mini palette um, because I have quite a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I didn't want to spend that bit extra getting the larger palette when I knew that I maybe wouldn't use it as much. Um, so I got the mini palette instead. Have to say when I first got that palette, I used it near enough every single day. Um, even going to work just to pop a light colour in the crease. I absolutely fell in love with it and I have to say it is still one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes. I also have the Nikki and Beauty Bay um, palette. Now this is just gorgeous. Look at that. And I definitely need to use this some more. I have had a little play with it and there are some good looks on my um, Instagram account. Um, but yeah, definitely need to play with that a little bit more. I've got the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. Um, I do find that the shades in here um, some of them kind of blend out the same, like these pinks that you can see around here. Um, I find it hard um, to do looks with this palette. Um, I tend to reach for the same colours, the same look if I am using that palette, which obviously isn't really that good. Um, I have one chocolate bar palette from Revolution. This is the Violet palette. Um, I have used this once, I have to say. I was going to start collecting these, um, but I haven't used it since, so I don't think it's worth me getting other palettes like this if I'm just not going to use them. Um, but I, yeah, I will try and use that again. If not, I'll probably um, end up selling it. Um, I've got a number seven palette here which looks like this. So you've got some eyeshadows, a highlighter, a bronzer and a blusher. So it's sort of like an all, um, like a full face if you like. Um, and I got this free um, when I spent so much money on number seven last year. Um, so my favorite palette probably has to be the Bright Matte Beauty Bay palette. This is just an amazing palette. It's got every single colour that you could dream of. And I've created so many looks using this over on my Instagram. And I am going to start doing um, sort of tutorials on my YouTube um, of eyeshadow looks that I have already done on my Instagram. Um, because at the moment I haven't really done any you know, dramatic eye looks on here and that's something I definitely want to do. So you will be seeing this palette a lot, I can guarantee. So another palette I have is the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Conspiracy palette. Um, now I did actually pick this one up secondhand on Depop and I was amazed at the condition that it actually came in. It was literally brand new, um, I couldn't even tell that it had been swatched. Um, so yeah, and I've done quite a few um, looks with this and I feel like the, the colour story is really good um, and it definitely pushes you to create different looks um, because, you know, it's not just sort of one fixed colour or anything like that. You can definitely um, create a lot of looks using that palette. I have the Revolution Chilled palette. So this actually has cannabis sativa oil um, in the eyeshadows. Um, really nice palette, just got loads of greens and browns. I've used it to create a couple of looks, um, but I definitely need to use it more. Green just isn't really a colour um, that I go to when doing eye looks. Um, not really too sure why I got that, because I don't really use green, but I am going to try and use it a bit more. I also have the Revolution, and this is the Birds of Paradise palette. Now, these palettes are definitely more sort of eyeshadows that I could use every day. Um, so rather than the chocolate bar palettes, these are the palettes that I am going to try and collect because I do really like the colour stories that they have and the packaging as well is just amazing. So I've got the Jeffree Star Mini Breaker palette. Um, and this was actually a palette that I got secondhand again off of Depop 
and I actually got this from um, Makeup with Alex Kate. Um, if you watch her YouTube, she's an amazing YouTuber and um, that's why I got it because I trusted the seller. Um, obviously I watched her video so I knew that she took care of her makeup. Um, I've got the Urban Decay After Dark palette which looks like this. Um, so it is all shimmery shades. Um, so I tend to reach for this if I need something to go either on my brow bone or the inner corner or I'm just looking for a shade to put over the top of any mattes that I've laid down. So it's really good for that. I've also got the Urban Decay Distortion Palette um, which looks like this. Now I have to say when I saw that this came out it was the palette that I literally wanted the most. It looked so amazing and then I got it and I was a little bit disappointed. Um, obviously it's got the shade um, shifter shades in there. I found that they didn't really do anything when applying them on top of other shades um, and that's the main reason I bought it so that was quite disappointing really. I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Um, by now, everyone's probably seen this palette. It's just beautiful. Um, and this was actually gifted to me. Um, I think it was the birthday just gone. Um, not too sure. I know I haven't had it that long though. I've also got the um, Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. Now this was probably my very first eyeshadow palette um, and I loved it. I tend to stick to these shades here. I didn't really dip into any of the shimmers or glitters. Um, but yeah, this is just a really nice palette. Perfect for sort of like winter or like Halloween looks maybe. Um, but it's not something I reach for that often. Um, I have the Naked Heat palette, the Urban Decay Naked Heat, and I have to say when I got this I reached for it all the time. Um, I absolutely love the warm tones um, in here, in fact looking at it now just makes me want to use it again, I haven't used it in a while so you might see this appearing in a video soon. Let me know what you think down below. So another Urban Decay um, Naked palette, this is the Naked 3 palette and now the packaging on this one's a bit different so it's more um, tin and it's not magnetic um, and I have to say I just don't reach for this at all, I find that the shades are all pretty much the same when looking at them in the pan apart from obviously the black at the end um, and it's just not pigmented or bright enough for me. Um, I just find that I can't really create looks using that. They are just really, really simplistic. Um, but, yeah. Next I have this number seven palette here. And this was actually a Christmas present one year. Um, and this is completely shimmer shades. So again, I tend to use this um, for the brow bone or inner corner highlight or sometimes I will just take this if I do sort of like a cut crease or take it on the lid. Um, oh, I missed a highlighter palette. This one here, I have the Ultra Cool Glow Revolution palette. I think I've spoke about this in one of my previous videos because um, I said I wanted some colourful highlight to do some fun looks. I think I tried out sort of the lilac shade up here or maybe this one and yeah it was no this one I can see that I've dipped in it was this one and it was blinding so yeah definitely a good highlighter palette so now I'm going to talk about eyeliners um so I have the stargazer glitter pencil and this is in the shade peach Ooh. And this has actually got um, some glitter in it. So I have used that a couple of times. I think I've got that in a glossy box. Really nice. Um, I've got the Revolution Pro Supreme Dip Liner. Um, and I also have this one in white. And I have to say, um, when they dry down, they do go a little bit crumbly. Um, so I'm not overly keen on those. And I think I'm going to get one like a white and black eyeliner where it's like water activated and you can go in with a brush and um, they look really good. I've got a 
Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil and this is in Deep End. So I used to use this all the time. I used to love putting that in my waterline. Got two more Urban Decay pencils. One of them is in Vice, um, which obviously you can see I've got a lot of use out of. And the other one is in, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even know if that's focusing. But yeah, I used to actually put this on my lid and then go over with that Urban Decay Glitter shade that I showed you earlier. Um, that used to look really nice. Um, got the soft eyeliner pencil from Rimmel London and this is just a black eyeliner. Don't think I've actually tried this. Um, I used to wear black eyeliner um, in my waterline near enough every day. It's just not something I do anymore. Got the number seven um, eyeliner and this is in the shade. I don't actually know, it doesn't say. But it's kind of like a coppery colour. Um, it doesn't really show up. Again, I think that's maybe something I would use on the lid rather than in the waterline. Now, my favourite eyeliner is my Huda Beauty Eyeliner. Obviously, one end you've got the pencil, the retractable pencil, um, which is just amazing. I use this for my skull look. Um, and that was really good and I also have the liquid liner the other side um, which is just as good um, yeah absolutely love that and I think I received it in a glossy box as well um, so I wouldn't have even had to have paid for that so next is mascaras I haven't got a lot of mascaras I tend to sort of stick to the same um, unless I see one that I really want to try out so this one here is the Revolution Mascara and as you can see it's got a really nice butterfly on it. Um, I just think that makes the packaging look really cute and nice. Um, it doesn't actually have a name um, but this is one that I tend to use sort of on an everyday basis. It's really nice. Got the Maybelline um, Sensational very black mascara and I have to say I absolutely fell in love with this mascara the first time I used it. I think I did actually try this out in a testing video on my YouTube so you can see my reaction over there. Um, it just picked up my lashes straight away and I think it's due to the brush being more of a silicone brush rather than sort of like bristles if that makes sense. Um, just tend to, they pick up my lashes a lot better. Got the number seven Lash Impact Ultra Mascara. Um, I've had quite a few of these actually. It's just a really good mascara. Um, I think I did actually get this one free in something though. Um, that's why I've got another one of those. And then I've got the iHeart Revolution Peach Mascara, um, which looks like this. It's quite a big chunky wand. I've only used this a handful of times and I can't really remember what I thought of it. So um, I need to definitely try that out again. Next I'm going to talk about um, lashes. Um, so I have quite a few pairs of lashes. Most of them are um, the Lux lashes that I buy off of Depop. And I stick them all down using just the Superdrug own brand lash glue. Which is amazing. It makes them stick all day long. So I've got the, oh, the Tarty lashes. These are the 3D Brazilian Silk Hair, they're TL21 lashes, now they've kind of fell down, um, so you can't really see what they look like, but they're just real fluffy lashes, um, really nice and quite natural. Another pair of, sort of natural lashes I have are these ones here from Lux Lashes, and I believe these are in the style um, Unicorn, although I can't remember because I've ordered so many. And I would sort of say that's my only criticism, that she doesn't include the name of the lashes because I can never remember them because I've got so many. But I think these are Unicorn. Then I've got another pair of Lux lashes. These are Snatched. I remember these ones because these were one of the first pairs that I got from her. And I tend to use these when I'm doing sort of more really dramatic looks so I need a dramatic lash so obviously it shows through the makeup. 
then I've got a pair in here and obviously the ones I've got on would normally go here. I think one of them was classy and the other one was wispy. I think I've got wispy on now um, because I did sort of compare them to the picture. And then I've got these two here. So these ones are probably my favourite. These are in the style Butte. And then this style down here is Bella. And I got these because my dog's name's Bella. So I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about um, brow products. Now, my go-to brow product is probably this here. This is the number 7 5-in-1 brow palette. Now, mine is an absolute mess, so you'll have to excuse it. But this is the brow powder I use. Um, I don't use it every day. Um, when I go to work, I just put some gel through my eyebrows. But at the weekends, I do fill them in, and this is what I use. Um, I do have a brow pomade. This is the Revolution Pro one. This is in um, medium brown. Um, I tried to use this in my full face of Revolution. Um, it didn't really go too well. So yeah, if you want to see what I think of this product, go and watch that video. Um, I've got the Revolution um, brow gel and this is in medium brow again so it just looks like this and this is the one that has the cannabis sativa oil in it um it's quite a messy product um so i tend not to reach for it but it is good at adding color so i think maybe um if i use this with a different brush to the one that you get obviously in it it might work a bit better i've got the maybelline tattoo brow gel now this is the one that you leave on to set and then you end up peeling it off um i've used this quite a lot to be fair and i do really like it um apart from when it starts wearing off it does go sort of a bit gingery um so it's got sort of red tones running through it that is the only criticism but apart from that i do really like it um and the hd brow brow glue this is a absolute lifesaver i remember the brow gel that i was using beforehand um th like throughout the day my brows would just start moving um this stuff does what it says on the packaging it is glue it sticks them down they stay down until you wipe them off at the end of the day best product that i think i've ever brought hands down Next, I'm going to talk about some setting sprays that I have, and I do only have two. Um, I recently had to chuck out my Morphe Continuous Spray Setting Mist um, because it ran out. Um, so I'm going to be definitely getting another one of those because that is probably my favourite. Um, I've got the Revolution. This is the Matte Fix Spray, um, which is really nice, but the um, spray is quite thick, so it's... Um, yeah you can feel it going on your face which is what i don't really like that's why i do prefer the mist and then i've got the fix and glow revolution setting spray and this has obviously got the shimmer particles in which i'm sure you'll be able to see mainly at the bottom here um so this does set your makeup down but then it leaves it looking really radiant because obviously it leaves leaves those shimmer particles um, on your skin so this is really nice and it smells amazing too next I'm going to talk about lip liners lipsticks and lip glosses um, now I recently purchased um, a lipstick holder which looks like this and it does actually turn around um, I have still got some empty spaces as well which means I can invest in some more and I do actually know that I've got a couple more coming for Christmas which is exciting um, which will hopefully fill those gaps um, but let's start with lip liners so I don't have a lot of lip liners um, this is the amount I have just because I don't really tend to reach for lip liners I'm more of a kind of pick the lipstick up put it on off you go <laughs> Um, but I do have a couple, so these four here are just Primark ones. Um, then I've got an Urban Decay one, which is sort of just a nude colour. Um, Steve Laurent one, which I got in my glossy box. I've got a MAC one here, which is in Fashion Booth, so that's just a real 
vibrant purple and then I've also got this one here which is a number seven one um, not too sure what shade that's in but that one is really nice and it's retractable as well um, I do prefer retractable products rather than having to sharpen them then I've got three lip crayons these are from Revolution and I've got sort of a red purple and a nude um, I think I got this one first and it is really nice I do really like them um, it's just not something I really reach for then I've got um, pretty much all of the Primark lipsticks, the matte ones and the luster ones. Um, so I've got nudes, reds, um, let's pull a few out. So yeah, nudes, reds, there's some sort of darker brown slash purpley colours, um, like orangey, like corally colour here, um, but majority of them are nude colours um, because they're just something I reach for more than colourful lipsticks. Um, then I've got the three Soph Revolution ones. Um, I've actually got one of them on my lips today. I think I've got the shade Syrup on. They're just really nice um, because they're not completely matte so they don't dry out your lips. Um, I find that I get dry lips quite easily so I do really like the formula of those. Um, likewise with these revolution ones here they are the moisture drench lipsticks and i've sort of got i've got a nude a deep plum and sort of a pinky color um so they are really nice i'm looking to get some more of those i've got three of the mac ones um i've got velvet teddy men love mystery and model behavior so two of those are matte one of them is actually a frost. I've got two Urban Decay ones. One is a bright pink, one is more sort of a purple. Um, this one here um, was pretty much one of my first lipsticks and I wore it everywhere. Absolutely loved it. Got a Jeffree Star liquid lip. Now I would love to have more of these. They are my favourite formula, um, but they are quite pricey. I've got this one in Family Jewels. Um, so that's really nice coming into these winter months because it's a little bit darker. Um, and I've also got um, their Real Benefit um, lip. Which if I can get this to come up you'll see that it's like two toned. So it's meant to sort of like contour your lips. And I actually got this um, from my friend Madison um, my last birthday. to lip glosses um, I have three of the revolution lip glosses so I have two of the pout bombs and I also have the pout bomb maxi plump um, gloss um, I did actually do um, a testing video on that over on my Instagram so if you want to see how fat my lips got go over and check that out um, I have three of the, I've just noticed, like, I have everything in threes. Like, I think I buy three of something and then I just kind of give up. Apart from the Primark ones, but that's because they're like £1.50 each, so they're really affordable. Um, I've got three of the number seven lip glosses. These are really nice. Um, if you don't like sticky lip glosses, these are definitely ones to look out for. Um, they're incredible. Then I've got three of the Revolution Sheer Brilliant Glosses. I've got a nude one and sort of like two deeper ones. I do really like these. Um, I just don't like it when they first go on because they're quite um, thick and because the colour is quite pigmented, like you have to get it right. Um, but when they wear down a little bit, they do look really nice. Um, again, I've got three of those. <laughs> And then lastly for lipstick, so this is actually a lipstick, it's a liquid lip, this is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte, um, I think that's Mogul, I think the shade name, 
um, and these are just amazing they stay on all day long I absolutely love them um, definitely something I'm gonna get more of but they are um, quite expensive thank you guys for watching my makeup collection video I hope it wasn't too long and I hope it wasn't boring um, like I said earlier, if you see any products that you like the look of and you want me to include them in a, vid in a video um, so you know how they perform or anything else like that, then just let me down. Let me know down below. God, it's Friday. My brain is frazzled. I literally cannot talk. Let me know down below um, what products you want to see more in videos. Um, yeah, so apart from that, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.